up guys good morning this is captain a 3 once again with another aircraft review um i have a special treat since i'm gonna redo this video i consider it take two cargo log boeing 70 excuse me boeing um oh. cargo log Boeing 7478 Intercontinental. No scale on this aircraft. By Skymarks. I'll give you a, a quick tour of the aircraft, starting with this side right over here and this side right over here. Um, cargo lug became the first cargo airliner to receive the 7478 Intercontinental in 2011 to fly alongside their existing fleet of 747-400 freighters. Um, cargo Luck was formed around in the 1970s in Luxembourg, Belgium, and basically, Cargo Luck today is one of the largest cargo airliners in the entire world. Twice the size of Aeroflot. Oh, sorry. Twice as big as the Antonov Design Bureau's um, division, uh, UPS, FedEx, DHL, ABX. Um, Martin Air, just to name a few. Now, the first flight of the 7478 Intercontinental was in 2010. Uh, delivery started the following year in 2011. Cargo Luck was the first. ABC, Airbridge Cargo, the first cargo airliner in the Soviet Union to get the 7478. And Atlas Air, another, another customer for the 7478. Uh, passenger service for the, the 7478 Intercontinental didn't begin until around about 2012 when Lufthansa... <coughs> Excuse me for one second. Uh, when Lufthansa began their their first passenger service on the 747-830, and Korean Air followed shortly after by again their own 747-830s, and Air China. Shortly after, but uh, no other well, no other customers have not ordered the seven four seven eight for uh, commercial service. So let me give you a tour of the aircraft. First, begin with the the stack ports and PO tubes, the cockpit windshield and windshield wipers. Now you notice right here on the 7478, the nose raises up to to load a large freight, saying like uh, automobiles, um, construction equipment, and anything else the uh, the 7478 could carry. Now. There you see the cockpit and the L1 door and the European flag. Cargo lock. The four General Electric turbofan engines come along the wings of the 747. The side cargo door. The cargo lock livery. 
the APU housing, the horizontal stabilizers, the cargo lock livery, the registration of this aircraft, and bringing it up on side. The 747-830, oh sorry, the uh, 747-8, and that's it. Uh, the 747-8 has set a number of records for, uh, for commercial and cargo use. Uh, cargo luck uses the 747-8 for the uh, the flights from Luxembourg to New York John F. Kennedy International Airport, Houston George H. Bush Intercontinental Airport, uh, Dallas-Fort Worth, uh, Chicago Hare, Los Angeles International Airport, San Francisco, in <coughs> excuse me, San Francisco International Airport, Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson, uh, Orlando McCoy Field, Miami International Airport, Newark Liberty International, Boston Logan, Philadelphia International Airport, and the Greater Pittsburgh. International Airport in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So, that's it for this review. I'll give you one more look at Cargo Lux 7478. You can see it right there. Very nicely done by Skymarks. I got this aircraft on March 31st, 2013. Along with uh, ATA, American Trans Air, and North American and Pakistani Internationals, 777-200. So, that's it for this aircraft review. I would just like to say thank you very much for watching this video. And like always... Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, this is Captain A3E, signing off for now.